Welcome. My name is Larry Hart, and I head Storage Solutions Marketing here at Micron. And today, I'm joined by two esteemed colleagues in the industry, both of whom are from Supermicro. So over here on my far left, I have Wally Liao, who is one of the co-founders of Supermicro and is also the Senior Vice President of Business Development. Wally, welcome. Hi, Larry. It's wonderful to be here today. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. And then we have Patrick Chu, who is the head of storage product management at Supermicro. And I'm thrilled to have you here with me today to talk a little bit about technology and what Supermicro is doing. So welcome. Hi, Larry. Thank you for having me here and looking forward to discuss with you the, all the details. Awesome, awesome. Well, Wally, um, going all the way back to when you co-founded Supermicro back in 1993 with two of your college friends, it's pretty amazing to think about all the accomplishments. I mean, you're shipping to over a hundred different countries. You've got more than three million square feet of manufacturing space, and you shipped over 1.2 million server and storage nodes. I mean, wow, that's that's impressive. When you started this business, did did you ever think it would come to all this? We were all big dreamers with a broad vision when we started this business together and uh, here we are living the dreams i was optimistic when we start but the number you just quoted still amazes me i'm proud of what triple michael has become oh you, you absolutely should be proud uh, it's such an amazing accomplishment i know you guys work hard all the time uh and 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 we appreciate that as a partner to Supermicro. it's so impressive um, you, you continue to find yourself as one of the top five server vendors in the world, so it's very clear you're doing something right. So when you think about what Supermicro is doing day in and day out, uh, you've seen a lot of server vendors come and go. People try to participate in this market and just can't make it. You must be doing something that's, that's rather unique. What are you doing that's unique in, in an otherwise crowded server market? Yeah, for over 29 years, Supermicro has brought the latest, highest performing system to market before many others. We master the art of organizing workload solutions. We think of laws as building blocks and uh, they are built on the lesson we have learned from our customers over all these years. Building block solutions are an innovative modular architecture and uh, enable super micro to rapidly develop, build, and test our compute platforms along with our server and storage systems, subsystems, and accessory with unique computations. As a result, when new technologies are brought to market, we are generally able to quickly assemble a broad portfolio of systems by labeling common building block across product lines. We design everything under one loop, which gives us a unique collaborative environment. This results in customer-inspired, high-quality, and energy-efficient solutions. Our close engagement with hardware technology partners like Micron, who provide us the right portfolio of memory and uh, storage solutions enable us to provide compelling solutions for our customers. Founded and operating in San Jose, California, Supermicro is committed to delivering food to market innovation for enterprise, cloud, AI, and 5G telco, as IT infrastructure. Now you, you mentioned that you're founded in the USA where you design, develop, and manufacture many of your products. In fact, you even went so far as to say we do you know, pretty much everything under one roof. Why do you think that's so important to your customers and, and how do you view that working in, in what's becoming a, a more global, diverse supply chain every year? You are right. We have most of our RD stock, manufacturing, and logistics at our headquarters in San Jose. By working closely with our suppliers, many of which have Silicon Valley office, we bring out new products faster than our competition. 
Micron is one example. We both have office here allowing us to more efficiently collaborate with each other. We have manufacturing standards that include world-class process quality standards, end-to-end -end security, potassium capability, REC integrating capacities, total IT solutions, and, and etc. This means our customer don't have to compromise on anything. Our expensive product portfolio addresses the needs of uh, many customers. Our customers spend the global so that they benefit from these corporate-wide standards, while also benefiting from our manufacturing in Taiwan and uh, the Netherlands. This allows us to manage inventory across multiple years and uh, adhere to the same standard everywhere, given to the fact that we have multi-source and cross-collaboration with uh, our partners. We consistently prepare and migrate the supply chain challenges so customer delivers quality and uh, is patient are met. So we are not the only ones investing in the USA. I know that you have met a few commitments yourself just recently. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely the case. Uh, we actually announced, uh, and thanks for asking, we, we actually announced two significant investments in US manufacturing. Uh, the first uh, one we announced was uh, where we're gonna spend up to $15 billion in Boise, Idaho, for fab expansion. This is going to be part of our DRAM fab capacity expansion. And the great thing about that particular uh, effort there is that we'll have production starting as early as 2025. Now we're also investing even more in central New York where we've committed up to $100 billion to develop a DRAM mega fab. Now that's gonna take us a while to build that, uh, upwards of, of two whole decades. But when we're done with all of that, we're going to produce about 40% of our total DRAM capacity right here in the USA. Now, as, as exciting as that is for us, I wanna, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, these investments, but even more so in the leadership position that it's putting us in as we make these various investments. So uh, here at Micron, obviously we try to stay out in front of the competition uh, with things like DDR5, which is an early to market technology. And then we have 232 layer NAM, which is a first to market technology. And I know that you constantly are in the marketplace and uh, you, you lead the market in introducing CPUs and GPUs to your customers. So why, why do you think it is that your customers value that when they could just maybe wait and buy these things a little bit later when the technologies mature a little bit more? Yes, but it is certainly not just limited to CPUs and GPUs. We bring new generations of memory fresh technology first to market too, but uh, to directly answer your question, the performance and complexity in CPUs and GPUs are mind-broken. More calls, high power, radio phone filter, faster interconnect, faster memory, PCIe and CSL, the list goes on. There are several of these that I know are especially important to Micron, where you have worked together to get to market early. We typically start on this project with Micron years in advance to develop best-in-class solution together. And uh, now our customer have come to expect that we all bring new technology to market. First, the new technology can provide any number of benefits, such as performance per watt, performance per data, storage capacity per watt. This puts our customer in a position of competitive strength because they deploy this technology with their workloads and analytical tools before their competition. Yeah. Now I know your customers really appreciate that you stay out in front of the technological curve and provide them solutions you know, early if not first to market in many cases. Um, and as I mentioned, we aspire to do that too. But I, I also know that your 
committed to keeping IT green. And I, I think you have, a, have a, a, a strategy around that. So I'd like, I'd like you to kind of share with us a little bit more about your initiatives that support your green computing strategy. Green computing is part of very every design that we have. And uh, our focus has existed for many years. We always try to minimize our impact on environment and uh, make highly efficient, computable, and uh, performing systems that bring green computing everywhere in the world. Let's energy consumption in both a system level up to 96% efficient. Let's PUE as low as 1.05. Energy consumption in system, break, and data center level. Total savings of 10 billion en energy costs yearly for the IT industry. That total is equal to preserving 8 billion trees worldwide through less energy, energy consumption. Yes, green computing can be free with bonus. The only criterion is the willingness to plan for green IT from Supermicro. Just do it together. I know Micron is also committed to similar program to conserve uh, our natural resources, such as pollution prevention, chemical reclamation, and uh, material recycling to help conserve our protect our natural resource. Okay. That's exactly right, Wally. Not only those initiatives, but many, many more in, in the area of green computing. Uh, we too are trying to conserve all the natural resources on this planet just like you are. And I think that's part of what makes our partnership so special. So I want to I want to turn this conversation a little bit and, and talk a little bit more about customers. And so Patrick, uh, I know part of your job, actually your job is to talk to customers every day, Definitely. understand their requirements. Mm -hmm. And then you take those, those conversations and you actually turn those into amazing products and technologies that address those customers' concerns. So living in the world of data center day in and day out, could you tell me a little bit about the, the challenges that your customers are facing today in the data center? Yes, definitely, and thank you, Larry. With our frequent conversation with our customer, we can find out there are three major challenges the mother data center is facing right now. The first one is data explosions. Data explosion requires new storage technology to handle the setup by, uh, e of data efficiently. The second one is the newer wave of application call for the performance and the scalability, but not sacrifice uh, any the uh, quality of service. The third one, of course, is try to maintain the low TCO of the data center's operations and how to uh, working with the customer, provide the right technology to optimize the data center utilization is also the big challenge right now. Mm. I, I'm hearing uh, in your response there a little bit about storage and memory, which uh, really gets me excited and I know that's important to, <laughs> to your solutions. Um, what are some of the, the customer specific technologies and solutions that you're actually recommending to them today that, that really is going to better enable uh, the data center not only for today but into the future? Yes. As I mentioned, the modern application calls for the performance and the scalability. We believe the old flash storage play a vital role here, and you can see a big demand surge recently by the data center customer, especially incorporated with the latest uh, uh, NVMe SSD, the DDR5 DRAM, and the new process architectures. With these uh, new generations uh, storage architectures, no matter from software and the hardware, and also partner like the uh, Micron's uh, new uh, storage media technology, uh, DRAM or NVMe SSD, we can continue to provide the excellent uh, scalability, superior performance solution, while also lower the data center operation cost. There are several workloads and uh, it definitely can benefit from this all flash storage. The first one is AI ML Ops workloads. It requires a high performance data ingest in order to keep the GPU or the accelerator hydrate and also to continue to speed up the model training or the inferencing. The second one is the mission critical database. It requires the low latency and the consistent of the quality of service. The third one is we can see right now the newer generation big data analytics start to migrate from the traditional uh, to, uh, the spindle hard drive to the all flash in order to speed up the data processing 
and the support the business needed. Fantastic. I, I mean, I get excited when you say flash, and then I really get excited when you say all flash. Sure. <laughs> Here at Micron, we, we like to sell flash, and we like to see problems solved with that solution. And so I, I happen to know, Patrick, that you have an all flash offering. And so uh, you want to share a little bit about that with us here? Oh, yes. Supermicro have the widest variety of the all flash storage. We allow the customer to choose from the different uh, process uh, 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 selections, no matter from Intel or AMD. And then we also offer the single socket, dual socket. We have the wide range, the 1U over 2U, U.2, U.3 storage. And also, don't forget, we also have the latest EDSF, E1S, and the E3S server offering right now, and the partner with the Micron for sure. We saw unmatched design, and it's meant to tailor and fully support the, all the modern workloads and the software-defined storage infrastructures. Fantastic. Um, and, and when I think about the solution that you're trying to solve, I mean, there, there's another element that comes into consideration, and I think you used the phrase TCO earlier, which means total cost of ownership. Um, how, how is this all flash offering helping enable and, and provide that uh, reduced total cost of ownership for your customers? Yes, uh, the flash uh, in the regular expression is very expensive, but not recently. We can answer these questions from two uh, uh, aspects. The first one, the new NAND 3D NAND technology, just like the micro, you guys introduced the first uh, 232 layer 3D NAND recently, right? With this uh, new SSD technology, it can offer the higher capacity and the density, and the while reduce the energy consumptions and the lower the cost per bit. This is uh, lower the SSD itself, the cost. The second one is uh, with this uh, new NAND flash technologies and the uh, Supermicro's old flash system, can support up to the 700 terabytes in two U form factors, and uh, with the latest uh, EDSF um, E1S SSD, uh, and uh, we in our lab we test that we can provide more than 20 million IOP throughput. Combine this uh, superior performance and higher capacity, the all flash storage can help the data center to easily achieve the performance and the capacity consolidations and for the modern uh, uh, workloads, right? And it further minimize the server print, footprint, energy requirement, and the cooling cost. Instead of that, Supermicro also work very closely with our software divine ISV partners and the Micron. We try to provide the total solutions. This total solution including the hardware selections and the qualifications, software tuning and the performance testing and optimizations plus the rack level design, including the, the network switch and the, the rack level optimizations. With that, we believe the customer can really enjoy the software divine agility and the flexibility. And uh, with this kind of a solution, Supermicro and the Micron can work together to guarantee the integration quality and uh, work together to solve the, all the modern data center challenges. Patrick, do you know how close you are to saying one petabyte yes. and a 2U server, I mean mm -hmm. 700 terabytes now, and we're going to be at petabytes in, in the next year. Mm -hmm. next year. So, exciting stuff. Thanks to both of you for your great insights, Pat Patrick and Wally. It's been great hearing how Supermicro thinks about your customers as well as the environment. Those are the same areas we focus on here at Micron, and I think that's what makes our partnership work so well. So, thank you. And thank, thank you, you viewers for joining us today. We'll see you again soon.